everybody. Uh, good to talk to you again. Good to see you again. I wanted to let you know about something interesting that's coming up in June. Um, we are going to be Dub Alexander and Wendell McGowan and myself. We're going to be sitting down and talking about the movie or the series of movies, which is Star Wars. Hopefully uh, some of you are Star Wars fans. I know my wife is not, uh, but she is willing to at least sit through some of it. Uh, but for me, I've, I've always been a Star Wars fan. I remember watching um, The Empire Strikes Back in the theater. I think I was four and a half years old uh, watching The Empire Strikes Back. It was really awesome. And that was 1978, I think, um, or 79, I think. And anyway, we had actually won tickets for that movie in 1979 from balloons being dropped from a mall in Duluth, Minnesota. We caught some balloons, popped them, boom, there was tickets inside. My whole family went... So we're going to be talking about uh, some uh, how, how things in the movie and series of Star Wars parallel things in the spirit. Really what that is, is people grabbing things from the spirit, even though they don't, they're not necessarily Christians or don't even know what they're doing. But much of what you see here on earth is replicated from things that are already in heaven. They're heavenly things in heavenly places that people get inspired creativity uh, by the Holy Spirit. Often they don't even know. You, know, you Have you ever wondered why is it that unbelievers become so successful or whatever they have? They're actually tapping into pieces of who they've been called to be of their eternal destiny. But what they're finding is they don't know that they're using it uh, not for God's glory. But it, it regardless, man, when you do what God's called you to do, whether you know it or not, the earth responds with blessing. And so if you've ever wondered that, why are these unbelievers being successful? Don't worry about that, first of all. But just know that they've already tapped in to heavenly things. They don't even know why they're doing it. But God has actually called you to tap into heavenly things and heavenly places. And I want to ask you this. What are you seeing around you lately in our world and in, in, in the nation, in your city? What are you seeing around you that you have kind of said, man, that's something that God's speaking to me, even though it's not even a churchy thing. Like Star Wars is not a churchy thing. But when you watch Star Wars and you're talking about the force and your good versus evil and all these things, you can see the parallels from heaven to earth. But what have you been seeing around you lately? Um, that you're going, man, that is just a picture of something God is doing or God's going to do. And I'm sure there's a lot of things you could point to. But in June, we're going to sit down, Dub Alexander, Wendell, and myself, and we're going to talk about the parallels between Star Wars and the kingdom of God. And you'll be shocked to know that there's quite a few. Um, so be blessed. Think about that. Comment. Let us know. What are you seeing around you that's kind of incredible? You're like, man, this is a God thing that, that maybe the people involved in it or doing don't even have any clue that it is. But you know that it is, and it's speaking to you and confirming things in your life. Um, let us know. Be blessed. Look for that coming in June. Awesome. Love you guys. See you soon. And I've got another announcement that's going to be coming up. It's going to be really cool.